This is one of my 7500 BTU Fetters air conditioners. I have two of these. Uh, this one is older. I got this one in December of 2022. I paid 20 bucks for it. And I think that was 20 bucks well spent because this thing cools great. Uh, this is the oldest one I have. I actually have three Fetters air conditioners. One of them that I got even before this is uh, an 8000 BTU and that has a Sanyo compressor and uh, that one is slightly newer than this one, still the same style grill but uh, that one doesn't have the louvers that control the left to right, it's just up and down um, but other than that it looks the same as this one does this one has a Rotorex compressor just a little bit on the loud side. There's my second 7500 BTU fetters. That one looks pretty much the same. Uh, it's just the uh, logo on the back of it is blue instead of red. So this one is slightly newer. It also has a Rotorex compressor, uh, which is quieter on this one, and the fan spins faster. Uh, that's what the back of the unit looks like, and there's the logo. Got our fan motor and the compressors on that side. I'll try and show you the uh, view of that through the vent. There it is. Rotorex made in USA. This air conditioner is very clean inside. I cleaned it right after I got it and it hasn't been really used much since then. Uh, last summer in 2023 I had this installed in uh, one of the upstairs bedrooms at this house for a little while and it got used a few times until I put a different air conditioner in and it's been uh, pretty much just um, ready for use as a spare since then so I'll start it up and run it got the kilowatt meter hooked up so we can check the amp draw start with uh, low fan this one is the fan is quieter on this one than the uh, other 7500 and 8000 BTU has more range in the speeds medium and high now the compressor does get a little quiet for a short time and then it gets loud again still works just fine it's this thing blows very cold air we'll let it run for a little bit and see what our amp draw is after it's built some pressure I really love the styling of these units they are probably my favorite next to the sharp air conditioners that I have from the 90s and the compressor just got louder again like it always does after a while And we'll continue to let it run. That's what our amp draw is right now. Let's see what our wattage is. 476 watts. I ended up putting in one of the 8500 BTU sharps in that fetter's place for a short time until I got that 6000 BTU GE slumber line and I put that one up there. And this year I have the uh, Emerson Quiet Cool up there. Well, as you can see, I just put the heater in front of it, and this thing must have a really good capacitor in it because um, it the compressor ended up shutting off. I guess because it's too cool down here, and uh, put the heater on in front of it, and it started right back up 
in less than 30 seconds so I'm pretty impressed with that one thing to note is uh, this has a raised logo it's like a kind of like a bubble sticker type thing and that one is the same color but it's not it's just a flat sticker and the one on the 8000 B2 version is a lighter color and it's also just a flat sticker this air conditioner is rated at 7.5 amps and 880 watts still on low speed that's where we're at right now for amperage and then wattage this would obviously be higher if it was in a hot environment and it needs to run a little bit longer still but the compressor sounds pretty good it does sound louder than the one on the uh, other 7500 but it doesn't sound bad or anything at least not to me alright it seems to be bouncing back and forth between 6.78 and then 6.8 something so I'm going to turn it up to medium and that really didn't increase much at all And we'll go up to high. See where our wattage is, 592. So obviously the wattage is nowhere near the max rating. And we have not hit 7.5 amps. And we probably won't because it's in a cool basement. But it works great. Still blowing decently cold air even with the heater blowing directly into it. Now, one thing I have noticed about this unit is the plug does get a little bit hot after extended runtime. It never it, well I should I should say it gets a little warm after extended runtime. It doesn't really get hot. Um, the other one doesn't, so maybe this plug just needs to be replaced. Alright, now that we're done with that fetters, I'm going to get that one out. That's the other 7500 BTU, and we'll compare it. And here it is. Like I said earlier in the video, the badge is just a flat, smooth sticker, unlike the other one, which is raised. And this one has the blue logo on it instead of the red logo. But it has a Rotorex compressor just like the other one. And the fan motor is manufactured by the same company. This one spins faster than the other one does. Here's the plug for this one. It's got a little chip out of it, but other than that it's in good condition. And this one doesn't get warm like the other one. Um, after I tested that other one out, I uh, messed around with the pins, and they're actually a little loose on that other one, so that's probably why they're getting hot. This one, these are nice and tight, and it doesn't have that issue. So, um, yeah, get this plugged in, and I'll we'll test it out. This unit is very clean inside, just like the other one. I used this in the dining room last year. For, uh, quite some time. I think I had it in all the way until the end of the cooling season and it worked really well. And here's our controls. Alright, thermostat is on 8. Let's go to low fan. And there's some debris blowing around on the outside but all that noise is. It's our amp draw on low, 124 watts. 
and we'll show a high fan. This thing really spins fast on high speed. There's a lot of air. Let's see what the power factor is. It's pretty good. Yeah, this this definitely spins faster than the other uh, 7500. So let's start try and start up the compressor. All right, that didn't start, so I'm gonna have to put the heater in front of it. All right, let me get the heater set up. Okay, I just heard the thermostat click. Well, I'll start the compressor now. probably hear what I mean about this one being quieter than the other one. This is on low speed right now. but that does go away after a while and I'm honestly surprised that the compressor isn't louder on this one because when I got it the condenser coil was totally blocked with dust there was no airflow through it whatsoever um, so I'm surprised it sounds as good as it does where our amperage is right now. Oh, they want my heater. Alright, we're back in business. I'm going to uh, shut the fan off real quick so you can just hear the compressor. Definitely quieter than the other one. And that's where we are now on low. Let's go up medium and high Now, just for fun, I want to run the General Electric 8100 BTU air conditioner from 2014. This one has Gree compressor in it, and my power rating on this is 6.3 amps, and where's the wattage? seven hundred and ten watts so that is definitely lower than what the fetters was obviously this is a newer unit it's going to be more efficient but it's certainly not as sturdy as the fetters so let's go ahead and start it up I don't have the heater on just yet we'll see if it starts 
I do like the control panel on these and I think these perform very well. I did put drain holes in this because one of the common problems with these is water pools up in the bottom and causes corrosion and then they leak refrigerant so hopefully that will never happen with this one because it really does work well. So let's uh, start her up. Go to cool and low. Yeah, the compressor started. This one is very quiet at first. It does get a little louder over time. And our amperage is 4.28, 511 watts. Shows the uh, current room temperature. 'll that away so you don't get any wind noise. Oh shit. Just about broke a fluorescent tube. I just turned the heater on because I was afraid it might turn off. And our temperature is going back up. This thing is already getting cold. It gets cold very quickly. And this will cool a room off very fast. So... I like these quite a bit. <clears throat> Is the quality as good as the fetters? Absolutely not, but these are still pretty good. And it really does get cold. Seven nine amps, five hundred and seventy four watts. Let's go up to medium. Airflow on this unit is incredibly strong and high. About 5 amps, 601 watts. I think everything is pretty much leveled off. We're at 5.06 amps, 606 to 607 watts.